Hi everyone! Hola! Today I bring you a very useful video, especially if you are traveling or going on vacation this year. While having a break is awesome and much needed, for many students this time can create some anxiety in their language learning. I always say that the success to learning a language is consistency. Therefore, even during vacation, it is important to maintain some type of study routine, even if shorter. We will be sharing seven easy to implement tips that will help you stay on track when traveling. If you are learning Portuguese, or moving to Portugal, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications for my new videos. You can also join my Patreon page to support my content. It only starts at $1 a month. E agora, vamos começar! So, you are dreaming with your summer travel plans and ready to relax. How do you stay on track with your Portuguese, especially if you are out of Portugal? The first important thing is that your vacation is self-care time and you should enjoy it to the fullest. Incorporating your study into this time should above all bring you pleasure and balance. The secret, make it fun and short. My first tip is to practice your Portuguese outdoors. When you are at the beach, praia, doing a hike, fazer uma caminhada, or even in the car, try to review vocabulary of things that you see. Say the words out loud. Words like sky, céu, sun, sol, nuvens, clouds, and so on. I have a whole video dedicated to this topic, giving you tips on how to explore the outdoors when learning Portuguese. My next tip is to go buy some sticky notes in different colors. A great way to associate words to objects is placing post-its on the objects. Don't start big, have a strategy. Start with five or ten a day and every time you see that object, say the word out loud. Make sure to look up the word on a Portuguese dictionary like infopedia.pt because some day-to-day -day words can be different in Brazil. If this activity sounds fun to you, check out one of my first videos where I talk all about the benefits of learning vocabulary this way. Another alternative to stickies or even a compliment is to say the name of objects as you hold them. In this video, I teach you all about kitchen vocabulary and how you can study and review your Portuguese while putting your dishes away. So, so far you are learning and reviewing vocabulary and saying it out loud. Do you feel like you need to practice and improve a bit more your pronunciation? In that case, take a look at my video 7 tips to work on pronunciation or watch a video per day in my pronunciation playlist. I cover the most challenging letters and sounds like the vowel O, the letters S, R, X, and many diphthongs. Now, maybe you want to write a bit as well. A simple way to keep you writing in Portuguese is to create a travel log in Portuguese. Depending on where you are with your learning, you can write in the near future about things you look forward to doing or practice the past tenses if you want to write about what you did every day. Another easy way to review verbs and learn new ones is to write to-do lists. Listas de afazer. If this sounds fun, check out my video all about the topic. Maybe you are ready to venture yourself and read your first Portuguese book. Go to a bookstore and try to find one that will be the best fit for you. You can always try to read a book in Portuguese that you already read in your mother language. 
Another option is to join our book club. And through our independent study, you will be able to read a book by a Portuguese author that was handpicked for Portuguese learners. You will have extra resources to support you, like audios, vocabulary lists, questions to answer, and so much more. We currently have five books available in our book club. You also have the chance to read parts of the book out loud and record them, and we will give you notes on those. Lastly, you might want to just want to chill at the end of the day and watch a Portuguese show. Practice your listening skills using the RTP Play app or on your laptop. Now you have options on Disney Plus and Netflix, so no excuses. I have several videos about shows with subtitles if you need extra support. I will leave all the links to these videos in the description below. Enjoy your summer without guilt. Explore these options and mix them up. Have fun and boas férias. Have a great vacation. I'm going to Portugal and Spain this summer. Where are you headed? Share with me in the comments below. Até para a semana!